Hey everyone, thank you so much, so much, so much for being on this journey with me as I celebrate the 36th birthday of my 36 years here on planet Earth. Uh, this year, we're doing the video from Central Park. It's one of my favorite places ever, place of inspiration for me. It's very special. You guys know that. Last year we did it in the offices down in the financial district. And so it's been fun. I, I looked at the video yesterday and I said, oh, I definitely want to do this again for my 36th birthday. Uh, kind of highlighting the 14, December 14th, the day I was born, the 14 best things that happened to me, most monumental things that happened to me during 2018. And uh, just really, really, really appreciate you being on this journey with us. I hope that you're enjoying the content as much as I'm enjoying making it, uh, whether you're watching our BTVs, our Facebook videos, or meeting you in live events, or training you, whatever the case may be, uh, I, I really, it means so much to me that you're here. So I wanna jump into the 14 things that happened this year that have been most special to me. I mean, there have been hundreds, probably thousands of things, but when I look back at 14, uh, here they are. Number one, it's funny, you know, when you start a business, you, you don't really know where all the goodness will come from. You have a good intention and you want to do good things and you have a clear vision of the skill sets you bring. But in January, I was invited to speak in the Mayan Riviera to a group of dry cleaners in Mexico. And that was amazing because I, it was the last group of people that I ever would have thought would be a, a potential client or a potential speaking audience. So immense respect to the Dry Cleaner Association. You guys have been a super fun client. Uh, I have so much admiration for small business owners and your openness to want to learn. And a lot of you have been emailing me that you're implementing the strategies around creating content and adding value and, and really seeing yourself as a brand has been so special and so fun. So for all of my dry cleaner friends, my laundry friends, uh, it's been unbelievable. And I, thank you for being on this journey with of 35 with me and letting me into your businesses and your minds and your spaces. So thank you, Dry Cleaning Association and the DLI. So from the Mine Riviera in Mexico, I departed on a four month journey throughout Latin America, launching Brian Rash's Global's first ever Uniting the Americas. Uh, January 15, 2018, about to launch the Brian Rashid Global, Unifying the Americas, Uniting the Americas, looking for Latin America's best entrepreneurs to award them the Triple Silicon Valley, looking for Latin America's best entrepreneurs to award them some seed funding. One of those moments that I feel in my soul and in my heart and my gut and everything that's good, that it's going to be really, really life-changing. And uh, to be able to document that moment with you right now, I'm just excited. Uniendo Las Americas where we literally opened up a Latin America wide competition to find two of Latin America's best entrepreneurs making huge differences in their countries. Uh, I was in Colombia, I was in Guatemala, Mexico, La República Dominicana, and we got over 250 applications from 17 different countries across Latin America, all of whom wanted to do better, all of whom wanted to make an impact in their country. And we brought two winners, Gabriela Strauss and Carlos Morales from Bolivia and Guatemala to the Silicon Valley for an all expense paid trip to visit high senior level executives at Facebook and Uber and Airbnb and Google and Apple. And it was just an unbelievable experience. We also awarded them $10,000 of seed funding between the two. That journey that we documented from January 15th until today, we're still doing content around it, has been unbelievably special in my ever uh, attempt to unite the Americas. Our content has been seen by millions and millions of viewers worldwide. And I'm very, very proud of the competition of the winners and all that it represents. Number three, the competition brought together people from all parts of the world in terms of applicants and collaborators and partners. But I really want to personally thank the sponsors. And so, you know, to Alejandra, Alejandra runs an interior design business out of San Francisco and San Jose in the Silicon Valley an amazing friend. I had the privilege of walking her down the aisle because her father had passed away uh, during her wedding. Uh, her and Nate have been great supporters, her husband, Nate, and just have so much love for you and so much thanks for you and so much gratitude for you. And then we had Kelly Garcia, who's an amazing friend. I met her at a Cuba summit here in New York City, uh, really powerful businesswoman. 
really amazing friend, really amazing mother and wife, and just inspiring human who sponsored Gabriella's trip to the Silicon Valley. Just have so much admiration for you, Kelly. Thank you for making this possible. And then finally, Mr. Jorge Nunez, good friend of mine as well, one of the world's best entrepreneurs, um, has taken a family business from an office in Queens and literally made it worldwide. He sponsored the prize money for Carlos and you know, just being able to collaborate with these amazing, amazing humans who, who I just love and adore so much has been so special. So for all of the sponsors and the fourth one, you know who you are and I appreciate you immensely as well and all the things that you're doing to bridge the Americas as well uh, and your friendship over the last seven, eight, nine, ten years even, uh, it's been unbelievable. So that has been so, so special. Number four, and this is a very special one, Charlotte Victoria who is my little adorable, beautiful special niece. She is so funny. She's one of the funniest kids I've ever seen or met and so beautiful and so adorable and so special and so happy. And for me, it's great because she's in a huge value and uh, happiness factor, elevated happiness factor for our family. But it also represents something really special for my brother and, and my sister-in-law because that was something that they've always wanted. They always wanted to have a family and to get their house and to get settled in. Both of those things have happened for them. So I would say definitely Charlotte being born represents this incredible little human, but also a realization of a dream for two people that are very important to me. And uh, as you know, four is my lucky number. So Charlotte is four because I think she has brought a lot of luck and she will continue to bring a lot of joy to the family and to all of us. So, Charlotte, welcome. Number five, our unbelievable, ever-growing, powerful, talented team. Uh, I'm blown away at the talent and the commitment and the vision that all of you have on the team, whether you're here in New York with me, whether you're in Latin America, whether you are in California. Uh, for all of you that have been a part of this journey from 2012 until 2018, it, you know, and especially the, the really the core group that we've developed over the last couple of years from Mr. Oscar to Mr. Mao, Diego, Alex, Leah, Gabriel, Santa, and Andres. I mean, all of you, you know, I can, I can go through and all of our amazing interns from the WeWork days. Uh, just, I, I really literally adore and, and respect my team so much. And as we build this global empire, uh, from from New York to Latin America to California. It's just been very special to continue to grow together as a team and I literally could not do any of it without you guys. So thank you and I'm grateful for my team. Number six, we returned to a very special place. We returned to the orphanage where everything started for me in the Dominican Republic. For those of you that have followed any of our content, you know that El Orfanato Niño de Cristo in La Romana uh, Dominican Republic is a very, very, very special place for me. It's where all of my love for Latin America really came together. Uh, it's where I learned Spanish. And at the very end of the United the Americas tour, I wanted to close the video in the orphanage. And that's where we did close the video. We visited the kids. And, you know, to, to be able to return there, uh, I guess 12 years later, after doing this incredible, literally global entrepreneurship competition that we created and to close it out in the place that it all started was just so powerful. So being back in Ninos de Cristo was certainly a special 2018 moment. Number seven, uh, and this one is probably the, the biggest highlight for me of the year and, and the thing that I'm most proud of is after 37 years of being in the financial advising business, my father retired. What I would like to say about re my retirement is that I've had a very blessed 40-year career in the investment business. And I'm looking forward to the years after that, enjoying it with Kathy, Brian, David, Nikki, Charlotte, and Katie. The admiration and the respect that your coworkers had for you as you retired in, in Peoria uh, just meant so much to me, so much more than you could ever know, all of you, but especially you, Dad. So. You're a good man, and I wish you a very happy retirement. You deserve it, and you have taught me through 35 years of watching uh, what it takes to be a good businessman, a good family man, but more importantly, just a good man in general. So congratulations, Dad, and happy retirement. Number eight, Fulbright planning has officially begun. Uh, as you've maybe seen in some of the other BTVs, I was awarded by the United States Department of State the prestigious Fulbright 
uh, specialist award, which means I get to spend 42 days a year for the next three years out of the country doing a project. And I have focused on the Dominican Republic, where we are going to train and empower orphan children to use digital media to tell stories. We're gonna create a, a documentary film around some of the amazing things that are happening in the Dominican Republic, shot, edited, and told through the eyes of the orphans that we'll be working with in the country of the Dominican Republic. So we are now really in some uh, massive planning stages for a 2019 rollout, uh, but it's been fun to kind of document that process of where my mind has been, how I've been thinking about empowering, how I've been thinking about taking that to a next level, and, and the planning stages of how that's gonna happen. And we're really looking forward to rolling that out in 2019, uh, but it's been fun to start to get that ball rolling. 2018. I'm going to show these kids and what starts with four or six or ten or however, whatever number we start with in the new year could literally become a worldwide movement where you actually have the chance to be the one that changes everything, to be the one that shows the beauty of your country or the beauty of the land or the beauty of the entrepreneurship or to become the entrepreneur yourselves that changes everything, to become the person that 13 year old orphan that lives in Santo Domingo looks at and says, well, if this guy or this gal who's now 35 could do it, so could I. Number nine, Brian Rashid Global.com has officially launched and I cannot tell you how proud I am of this website. And, and I'm proud of it for a lot of different reasons, but I'm proud of it because number one, uh, the person that built it, Alex Eckhart, has been just such an unbelievable force in my life for so many years. We met studying abroad in Italy and 14 years later we've been closest of friends and has just been very heart moving and, and heartwarming and, and inspiring. So Alex, thank you so much for this site. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. And number two, I'm just proud of what it represents. You know, six years of building and it's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of love and it's been a lot of effort, a lot of energy. It's just been unbelievable how much we've done. So thanks Alex, thanks team, and thanks to everyone that's been a part of building Brian Rasher Global. Number 10, uh, the speaking part of my business has continued to grow very rapidly, which I absolutely love. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that 18 months ago, I decided to really get serious about my personal brand, to have someone like Oscar, Mao, or Juan P, or Nick, or all of the folks that have been on the video teams. To, to really capture these moments and create these moments and then distribute these moments for you for free as we build out a real brand. I think that my speaking has been very successful because it's done with integrity, because it's done with things that I'm actually doing that are producing results for myself and for others. And so for all of you that wanna be a speaker out there, use yourself as a human experiment and then from there go out and share it and it makes speaking so much more enjoyable and so much easier to do. So for all of the people that have had me on stages or in conferences or in their boardrooms across the country and across the world, I thank you. I love doing it and look forward to doing more in 2019. Number 11 and this, you know, 11 is is amazing because it's 11 is the month of November, a month for gratitude and uh, very few people uh, are make me I guess like you just saw the reaction make me smile and and make me uh, in awe more than my my grandma who just turned 90 in in November of this year so grandma I always love giving you a call on Wednesdays actually it's Wednesday when we're filming this for our Friday release for my birthday um, I always love giving you a call and on, on FaceTime on Wednesdays you have the, you always have the funniest things to say you are so sharp and so grateful and so joyful and lovely and uh, just so grateful to have you still with us and sharing your mind and your soul and your laughter and your joy. And so as you turn 90 this year, uh, I just want you to know that you are loved by all of us and happy birthday. Uh, number 12 is is something that I believe in so much. It's it's It represents many things, but I think that us, humans have the opportunity to continuously evolve and to continuously search and do the best that we can every single day. And back in May of this year, I visited an animal sanctuary called Goatlandia. And I started to play with the goats and I saw that these, these little goats had personalities and they were all nuzzled up in me. And, and, and it was really kind of a special moment. And then the next day I went back to New York and I went to dinner with my friend Charlie and we were in an Indian restaurant 
and I looked in the menu and I saw goat curry. And that was really literally the first time in my whole life that I connected uh, the two things. And I decided in that moment that I was done consuming animal products. And for the last seven months, I've transitioned into a fully vegan life. I'd really encourage any of you to, to think very strongly about where your food comes from, that industry, because it's, it's a lot of secrets and a lot of darkness and I, I, I want light. So i um, happy to talk more about it with any of you that are interested, but it's been an incredible shift and uh, I feel really good about it. Number 13, fitness. I've been really proud of the fitness strides that I've been able to make this year and the gains. Uh, and, and particularly, I wanna pinpoint two and, and highlight two different exercises that I've really enjoyed diving fully into this year. The first being insanity um, with my boy, Sean T. Sean T, you're an amazing teacher. I've written about you. I've hit you up on DM on Instagram. You're, you're amazing. You've really, really been incredible. And then recently, over the last three months, I've been diving into hot hip hop yoga at Y7. Uh, for all my Y7 instructors, you know who you are, I love you. You're an amazing group of people and I've really been able to work on my flexibility, on my core strength, um, 90 degree, hot candlelight, no window, no light, uh, yoga. Um, and it's been really, really special. So, and I just feel a difference. And so I'm grateful for fitness this year. And 14, the last one on this video, thank you for watching if you're still with us, uh, is, is home. Uh, you know, of all the cities that I've ever been to, I've never felt more at home than I feel here in New York City. So I guess I, guess I wanna thank New York City for all of its magic. And for, you know, everyone always asks me, what do you love about New York? And I say, the thing that I most love about New York is that in any second, your life can completely change. For all of us that are thinking through where we live and that are thinking through how to be happy, it has to start internally, obviously, but I think that surrounding yourself around people and around cities that do inspire you and that do provide you with, with the magic and, and the joy and the glow and the fire and the passion that make you feel alive is really important. So for many of the last you know, 10 years, uh, New York City's been home and it's fueled me and filled me up and given me more than I could ever ask for. So I guess thank you to New York City, thank you to Central Park. Uh, and I'll close by just saying thank you to you. So for any of you that have watched one second to one year to 10 years to a lifetime of our content, I just wanna say thank you. And for all of you that I know in person, <laughs> in real life, from my family, to my friends, to all of the amazing people I do business with, I just wanna say that on my birthday, uh, as I turn 36 and celebrate this thing that I've been given, I just wanna let you know that it's so much better with you in it. And from the bottom of my heart, as I look forward to what we'll do in 2019 together, uh, whether it be remotely or in person, from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. And from the bottom of my heart, I say keep watching. And from the bottom of my heart, I will keep producing for you, keep creating for you, hoping that something that I do gives you the same hope to live the life that I love so much for yourself. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a great holiday. Have a great new year. And uh, to be continued.